Sharon knows the song. Sharon knows the song. Rocha Simcha. Rocha Simcha. Ignash. 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 Yeah. So if I just want to. Maybe I could bother. Maybe I could bother one of you. Can give me a cup of hot water. Sure. Thank you. Tanya Betacust is that? No. Okay. Did you say Marco Lovano? Who else are we missing? We don't have any of your name. Is it? Oh. Okay. So let's learn. <coughs> so we're going to continue. We're going to continue from last time. The locus of Shabbos and the locus of Teichin. The locus of Rhyming. This is how you spell Teichin. Yeah. As you can see on the board, Teichin. Yeah. Teichin yeah. means grinding. You know how to grind in Shabbos. Grinding. Anyone knows what grinding means? Yeah. Grinding. You take something and crush it, break it into pieces. Yeah. Does anyone understand me? Yeah. Yeah. No. Grinding. No? Yeah. You can't do that on Shabbos. So grinding means anytime you take something that's uh, my meaning. Start a business. So if I take vegetables and I cut it very, very thin, I'm translating. Okay, cut it very, very thin. Thank you. Your name again? No, I'm done. All right. Okay. Okay, is everyone? So if you take something and you crush it into a lot of pieces, you take a vegetable, you take cucumbers. I don't have a lot of What's okay. Rivka, what? Miriam? Miriam? Miriam what? G? L-I-C-K. L-I-C-K. It doesn't matter. Okay, and now we finally start with everyone's attention. We're discussing the malacha of teichen, grinding. You understand what that means, grinding? You take a vegetable, let's say, and you cut it into very small pieces, very small. That's grinding. You're not allowed to do that on Shabbos. Um, we did. We discussed at the end of the last class. We explained that the way to cut vegetables, let's say, should be in slightly larger pieces. Don't cut it to very, very small, tiny pieces. Make it a little larger, a little bigger. Whatever you usually do, make it a little bigger so it's not going to be considered grinding. Now, there's a difference between things that come from the ground and things that don't come from the ground. Things that come from the ground, that's where you have the malacha of, of grinding. So the malacha of grinding primarily is for foods that come from the ground, primarily. You're going to see it could also apply to things that don't come, but primarily, mainly, grinding is for things that come from the ground because that's how it was in the Mishkan. So anything that comes from the ground that grows, cut up to small pieces, that is grinding. If it doesn't come from the ground, then there's no grinding. For example, eggs, fish, meat. You cut up the eggs. You take a piece of fish. You want to make it very small, tiny pieces. You take an egg and make it very small, tiny pieces. There's no malach of grinding because it doesn't come from the ground. So the malach of grinding 
is only by things that come from the ground. If it doesn't come from the ground, you could, it's okay. You can make it into very, very tiny little pieces. So salmon I can do, right? Salmon? Yeah. Yeah, you can make it very, very... Huh? <laughs> Thing, yeah, things that don't grow from the ground, you could cut very, very thin. Got it? Yeah? However, if you're going to use a specialized utensil, yeah, <coughs> translating, if you're going to use a specialized utensil, I don't know, everyone knows what I'm saying, a specialized utensil, a utensil that's special for grinding, it's special for grinding, um, a grayer, anything that's special for grinding, that you can't use for even things that don't come from the ground, which means cheese, okay? Let's say you want to take a grater, a grater, what is a grater is a grater and you to grind the cheese. Because it's special for grinding, it's made special for grinding, that's not allowed. In other words, like this, let's explain this. Anything that doesn't come from the ground, there's no more local grinding. I can take cheese and cut it very, very thin pieces. But if I'm using a utensil, a cane that's special for grinding, like a grater, then it goes into the category of maise choyl. It goes into the category of what we call weekday activity. It has a certain impression of malacha. It's not really malacha because it doesn't come from the ground. So you're allowed to grind it. But when you're using a special utensil, then it, it's, it looks, it gives the impression, it has like a flavor of grinding because using a special utensil. And then the Chacham say, you're not allowed to do. The Chacham did allow us to grind. Now, there is a way how you could grind things that come from the ground. Anyone remember some last time? How could you, oh, I'm supposed to be in this. How could you, how could you grind things in Shabbos, the things that come from the ground? Do you remember this in a way how you're allowed to do it? Yeah? Anyone remembers? Okay. Yeah, we did talk about that. There is an, there is an opinion. It says you do it right before a meal, it's okay. There's one opinion that it's not the best opinion, it's not the most ideal situation. The chatkhil, it's not the best thing, but it's an opinion that if those who rely on this opinion, it's fine, but it's not the best thing. But there is that opinion that says you do it right before the meal, it's okay. Okay. There is something else we discussed last time. I think we discussed it last time. Uh, we did talk about it. Yeah, we spoke about it in the last play. Are you allowed to grind things that come from the ground? Yeah, anyone remembers? No? Then we spoke about a shinui, a shinui garden. A shinui garden. You didn't say it's not, right? No, I didn't. You said that we cut it more big. Okay, if you cut a little bigger, then it's not grinding to big. Right? That's another way. There's another way. Do you remember this? Shinu Gadel? Yeah? Shinu Gadel? What is what is mean Shinu Gadel? What does Shinu mean? Shinu means change. Gadel means what's Gadel? Big, a big change. Big change. Okay, it's not uh, a big change. It sounds like something we got to make a big change in your life. Uh, but it means, but that's Shini means change, a, a different, unusual. Shini can also be translated unusual, which means what? Now, now you probably remember what I said last time. How there's a way out to grind by doing what? Who remembers? Hmm? Maybe it'll be different. Right. Can we do this, it different. Yeah. What is that? It was about the end of last class, right? Remember? No? Huh? With the spoon, the back of the knife. Yeah, the spoon. Yeah. Because uh, you know, yeah. 
the spoon, you take, you take, if it works with the spoon. Serving is highly unusual. Um, the usual way of grinding is with a specialized utensil. That's the usual way. So now if you're going to use the back of the knife, that's a, considered a shinui god. It's a very, it's a highly unusual way of doing it because it's like two steps removed from the regular way. The regular way is you use a special utensil. If you would use a knife to grind, that already is not considered the, the, the official way I grind. A knife, use a special utensil. A knife already is not so, uh, not, not even using the knife, you're using the handle of the knife, using the back of the spoon, the back of the fork, the handle of the fork, the fork is the back of the fork. That's considered a highly unusual way. And this is an exception to the rule. Usually, you're not allowed on Shabbos to do things with a shinu. Am I allowed to do malach with a shinu? Am I allowed to carry with a shinu? Am I allowed to carry on Shabbos? Put something on my head and walk outside on Shabbos with this on my head. Am I allowed to do that on Shabbos? It's not the regular way, but, but it's not prohibited by the Torah. It's only prohibited by the Rabbanim, by the sages. It's still prohibited, even though I'm doing it in an unusual way, I'm still not allowed to do this. So this is an exception, one of the few exceptions. The Chum say we're going to allow you to do this because it's not just a regular Shina, it's a Shina Godin. It's a highly unusual way. And therefore, we are going to allow you to do this on Shabbos. So that's using the bank of a, the handle of the knife, the back of the spoon, the handle of the fork, you're going to be allowed to grind and do whatever you want. Um, now, there is a situation, it's not very relevant as far as I understand, where you're not going to be allowed to grind even things that don't come from the ground. And that is, if by cutting it up, you make it fit to be eaten. So let's say you're taking meat, Let's say you have a pet and you need a feed, and you, the pet eats meat, and the meat is too hard, or can't, can't chew it. But if you cut it into small pieces now, let's say your dog can eat it, whatever the pet is. Now, by you cutting it up, you make it fit to be eaten. Now, you're not going to be allowed to do it. That will be considered grinding. It doesn't come from the ground, but being that by you cutting it, you are you are making it fit to be eaten. Till now, couldn't chew it. Too hard to chew. The dog, or the cat, whatever it is, he can't chew it. No, but you cutting it up, you, you're accomplishing something. You are actually doing something with it. You're making it fit to be eaten. So now this will be considered grinding because you're actually accomplishing something. Can what? A camp, a plan, which were accomplishing, accomplishing, uh, completing. Um, how would you say that in Hebrew? Uh, Mashlim. Uh, Mashlim. Mashlim is a. Finish. Finish. At the to say is a is a chav yichanim lechol. The And why is that good? Because till now, you have, a, have a, you have a hard piece of meat. You couldn't eat it till now. The, the, you can't chew it. The, the one you to the dog, you can't chew it. You cut it very, very thin. Now you can eat it. Okay. So now, with, because of the grinding, now you can eat it. So now, you, this is the malach of grinding. You accomplish. So it's not good? You're not allowed. Just so. But you said that it's only for things from the ground. Yeah, right. Okay, so that's what I'm explaining. Even though it doesn't, usually has to come from the ground. Are following this? Usually it's only prohibited grinding if it comes from the ground. But over here, even though it doesn't come from the ground, it meat, and usually there's no maloch of grinding. But if by cutting it up, Till now we were discussing, well, you're not accomplishing, you're not changing. Everyone's following, yeah? Till now we were not, dis we're not we're discussing when you're grinding, you're not, you're not changing anything. If I take a cucumber and I cut it up into pieces, I take a pepper and cut it up into pieces, I take, up, uh, I take a tomato and cut it into pieces, 
I didn't change anything. It's the same piece of food. It didn't do anything. But it's grinding because it comes to the ground. Now the sink, even though it doesn't come from the ground, there's no grinding. Because, but if in the cutting you are accomplishing, yeah, you're doing something, you are preparing the food. Before it was hard. Before it was hard, you couldn't. Now by cutting it up, now you can eat it. Now does it, now it's also going to be grinding because you're doing. You're, you're, you're preparing the food. That's the difference. Um, another rule. Right. So if you remember we discussed last time, you know, we're cutting up a vegetable salad, even though uh, if you cut it into slightly larger pieces, it's okay to do before you eat. Um, but it's better Even though we said, I'm sorry, opposite. We said, we said like this, if it's, if you're making them larger pieces, if it's large pieces, then there's no more of grinding at all. As long so as, if, as, let me just finish this. Okay. When you are cutting a vegetable salad, and you're cutting it into large pieces, then it's okay, yeah? You're allowed. You still want to do it, it's better to do it before you eat. It's just better because like this, just in case it comes out too thin. But if you do it before you eat, there's an opinion that says you're allowed to. Okay, let me explain this again. You're allowed, there is an opinion, and some remember that before, that there is an opinion that says that you can take a vegetable and cut it very, very thin. If you do it, so okay, let's put this on the board. There is a heta. Better Samuch Lachima. Can anyone see this? Can you follow me? It's all right? Yeah. Heter Samuch Lachima. Tell you, I'm about grinding. Heter, we have the leniency of Samuch Lachima, close to the time of eating. Who remembers the Samuch Lachima? Where do we have this, this concept of close to the time of eating? With lemon. With lemon, what? No, that's, that's something else. That's 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 something else. That's the kind of safe the fire can extract it. That's a different thing. Okay. When we added some just recently, some of the What are you allowed to do? Which month we say we do it close to the time of eating, it's okay. When you we take out butter, you take, take the good, remember, take good from the bed. Right, take the good from the bed, you're allowed to do it. Some of the close to the time of eating. You remember that? Yeah. Is it that's by butter, by separating? Is it work with the coffee? You know, with the kind of coffee that we can simple, not instant, instant, just playing with that. Because of the mind, um, like coffee grounds. Yeah, about okay. it. So, you asked a question about separating. Yeah. Okay, I, I don't. I don't want to get into that now because that's not the topic, unless it's necessary to help you understand this specific example. So we can use that because I'm, I'm trying to explain separating. So you want to use it to, for this. If separating the, the 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 pieces. Yeah. From the liquids, that's separating, right? Okay, so that you're not allowed to separate, but you're allowed to separate if it's close to the time of eating. Some of we learned in the previous classes on separating, you're allowed to separate if it's close to the time of eating. You remember that? Good from the bed? Is everyone following you? Yeah, take good from the bed, close to the time of eating, right? Now, we're saying that there is an opinion that says that the same thing applies to grinding. We have such an opinion. What about this opinion? Is this opinion accepted? Is it an accepted opinion? <laughs> now, the other says there are, there are those who question this opinion. It's an opinion that's not on a very high level. 
for lack of a better word, high level is like not a very, doesn't really describe it. Meaning it's it's a questionable head. The Altenebbe doesn't really like this head. The Altenebbe says, those who follow this, we're not going to tell them they're wrong because an opinion is a valid opinion in the Hashem It's not an opinion from some rabbi out there who doesn't know what he's talking about. It's a valid opinion. So those who want to follow his opinion, it's fine. But it's not the best thing. That means, if someone will cut, a, if you cut a vegetable salad right before it's come up from sugar, making a vegetable salad, and you cut the pieces a little too thin, you're safe, because this is your opinion. But still, it's better to cut a little thicker. It's even close to the time of the meal. You still don't want to cut thin. You don't want to cut thin. You want to cut it a little larger, larger than what you usually do. So there's no question of grinding. You get that? Yeah. Your question answered? Yeah. You said, yeah. Okay, next. Now we have a rule. Does anyone remember this? Let's find something better than this. Oh, same thing last time. There's no, there's no garbage can here, so it goes it back. Is it a garbage can there? Yeah. We need meal. We need meal. This, this, this is still this is still usable. It's just not. You know what? It still works. The last couple of maybe two Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Does anyone remember this? Can look at the board? Tell me if this rings a bell. Not in, not in, not in. It's the same with the other one. We have the other one. There's right. another one. No, we have the right one. No, no, no. no. There's... Nothing. I know, but it's the same. You cannot. You, you just gave me this one? Remember, there's, there's another black one. There's another one. Okay, whatever. Does anyone remember this? This ring of bells, I say this, if you've seen this, any visual? Acha Vishal. A Vishal Acha Vishal. Does it ring a bell? Yeah. Yes. I know. Yeah. It rings a bell. What does it mean, A Vishal Acha Vishal? There's no cooking after cooking. You can mean different things to some people. For many mothers, it means there's no cooking after cooking. She finished cooking, I'm not cooking anymore. That's not what it means, right? It means once if you cook something on Shabbos, you can't recook it. You're gonna recook it again. You don't want to express. It was cooked already. I right? cooked a bunch of very give, give a simple example. Cook a pot of potatoes, dry potatoes. Now I'm gonna recook it on Shabbos. Is this called cooking? No, it's already cooked. Right? So there's no cooking after cooking. The same rule is also regarding grinding. There's no grinding after grinding. There's no grinding after grinding. Once it's ground, you can't grind it again. What does this mean? If you have a piece of bread, you know, kids like you know, kids like doing the cookies. There's a kid sitting with cookies, and they take the cookies and they crumble it, and they get the whole mess along the place. It's very exciting for them, right? So they're grinding, right? You take a cookie. You know, the grind the chavis. Are you allowed to do this in chavis? No. Huh? No. So the answer is yes. Why? <laughs> because a teiche acha teiche. There's no grinding after grinding. The cookies were already ground. It was already flour. I made it to flour. It was ground. Then you made a dough. It was already ground. So there's no regrinding. It's not cooked. It's actually it was cooked already. You're allowed to recook. So you take cookies. So you're allowed Shabbos morning. If you want to, if you enjoy taking cookies and making crumbs and crushing it, you have a lot of fun with it. Yeah. But if it's like a vegetable, then you can't grind it more. If it's a what what do you mean exactly? You say if it's a vegetable, you can't grind it more. What do you mean by that? Like if you already grinded the vegetable, then on Shabbos you can't. Okay, so let's be very specific. In other words, what kind of vegetable are you talking about? A cooked vegetable or a raw vegetable? Right. Okay, so you're saying 
if I can explain the question, if you have, let's say, a cucumber, a vegetable salad, yeah, that you ground to very small pieces, are you allowed to take this and make it even thinner and thinner and thinner? Is that, is, is that your question? Yeah. No, I'm just clarifying, so no. Right. Does everyone get, everyone get the question? You already made a vegetable salad. It's ground already. Now I want to make it even thinner. Is that called grinding? The answer is, it, it's questionable. According to many opinions, it is grinding because now you're grinding even thinner. You grind it thinner than before. So you have to see how to do that. You got to be careful. So this is like a question. It's not clear. According to some opinions, it's going to be printed. Yeah, everyone get that? Yeah. It means we end to have a token that if we token after it's it's not token. Right. So token shabbos. Right. Let me, let me explain. There's no grinding after grinding. What do you mean? There's no grinding. If you grind after grinding, it's not grinding. You're not doing grinding. There's no. It's not. You're not doing the malach of grinding because it's already ground. But as you see, it's a little tricky. Because it doesn't apply across the board, because vegetables are ground to small pieces, and you want to grind it in even to smaller pieces, there will be opinions that will say that's grinding. But it's already ground, but you're growing even thinner, making them thinner. So that's going to be an issue. Now, what about what about if you don't grind it, but you crush it? So instead of grinding it, you're going to take the, um, you're going to mash it. Let's say you're going to take a banana. You're not going to grind the banana. You're going to smash it, mash it. You know, for, for, little, for infants, they give a banana. They have to mash it. They press it down, you mash it. Is that considered grinding? So the answer is it's a machlekes. There is a machlekes. It's actually a machlekes if that's considered grinding. In other words, it's not crystal clear if this goes into the category of grinding. Why? Very simple. Because some opinions say grinding means I go a lot of pieces. When I take a whole thing and I go mash, what happened? Did I take one thing and grind it into many particles? Or it's one big mush. It didn't turn into a bunch of pieces. When I take a banana and I smash it down, what happened? There's a bunch of tiny little pieces of banana? No. I mashed it. It's a mush. So some people say, that's not grinding. Some people say, oh, you sure it's grinding? You mashed it. So there's the two ways how to look at this. You say? So usually when it's a machlekes, you have to be strict. You don't, you don't mash food on Shabbos. Now, again, on a practical level, what do you do? You need to mash a banana for an infant. What you do is you use the handle of the knife, the handle of the spoon, the handle of the, 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 the back of the spoon, the handle of the fork. So you, you said before, you're allowed to grind with a, how? You're allowed to grind with a, Shinigado. Using a shinigado, a big change. So you always you can always fall back to that option on the shinigado. Right? Can you give us the The handle of the spoon. You have spoons here? Okay. What else? The back, the back of the knife. The the back of the fork. Not not the not the fork itself. The fork is you made you not the, the head. The head, the handle of the fork, because the the, the 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 piece of the fork. People do that, right? Has to be the the the, the handle of the of the fork. Yes, yeah, everyone following. Is that clear? Yeah. Uh, could it also be like a different way when you put on grass? Let's say you smash the banana and you just take the. Uh, do people do it that way? No, I think no, it's. I think it's normal. I think in big places. Normal. I think so. What? With a with a glove? Yeah, like just smashing bananas with a glove. 
You're going to tell me in these in these big places they don't use do it with gloves? I'm sure people do it with gloves because it's very practical. Why it's clean, hygiene, gloves, and you mash it, and you do it with your hands. That's not that's not a shinui gadol. You want to say it's a slight shinui to make it a shinui gadol? No, not because of shinui gadol. No, not going to work. No. Now, there's an interesting leniency, and that is, and that is as follows. Let's say you take a, a sweet potato or a regular potato that's cooked very well. So till now, we discussed, we discussed that anything that grows in the ground is grimy because it comes in the ground. It all comes to pieces. But something that is cooked and is very soft there is an opinion that says that because it's so soft and it's very easy to mash, there is an opinion that says you're allowed to do it. In other words, this opinion says the malacha of grinding is when you're doing something. You're cutting it into pieces, you're mashing it. But the cooking, this opinion says the cooking already did everything because when it cooks, it became very, very soft. It's so soft, you just gotta press it down very slightly. That would be looks like a sweet potato, let's say. You cook it a lot, it's very soft. And then it doesn't have to mash. You give it a little push and it mashes, pushes down, and it's very easy to mash. And this opinion says it's not considered grinding because you're not doing anything. There's not much to be done. The cooking already smashed, the cooking already softened it. The cooking made it very soft. Now, because for you to push it down goes very easy, it's not considered mashing. So this is an opinion. Uh, is it better to be strict? Yes, I think it's still better uh, to do it with the back of a knife, back handle of a spoon, as we discussed. But if the someone who does it this way, if talking about, again, there's two things that you remember. It's cooked, and it's cooked very well, and it's very soft. That means it's very easy to mash down. I'm like, just press it down. You're not going to press hard. You press very, push it down, and it goes down very easy. Then one opinion says it's okay. You're allowed to do this. Any questions? Um, this is very careful in the news. Um, <laughs> no. Why? What's Sometimes. What, what, you what do you give me a practical example of what you think would be a problem during the meal? You won't Sometimes realize you, you do it without when people talk or you know, boring. It's you do it. Be specific. Give me a, Sometimes. Can you give me a specific food and what you're using? Or what you're using? Um, are you mean if you're eating food and you're pressing down on it? Yeah. Pressing it. No, if you're eating again. Sometimes kids in the end of the meal, they just play. They like to press it down. Right? So, according to this opinion, because it's cooked already and you just and, and you don't use it to mash down, there's no problem. It's better to be mashed, it's better to be straight. But if that's not your intention, if you're not trying to mash it, you're just trying to be eating, you're talking about if you're specifically trying to mash it. You don't have to be concerned if in the process of eating, you mash it a little bit. We're discussing here, if you're going mash, 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 mm -hmm. you know. If in the eating, you eat and you press a little bit, you don't have to worry about that. Now, let me ask you a question. An egg slicer. Everyone knows what an egg slicer is? Mm -hmm. Everyone knows what an egg slicer is? Who knows what an egg slicer is? You put a hard boiled egg. If, if, if someone doesn't understand, please translate to each other. So you might understand. An egg, a, a hard egg. You put it the thing and then you go and press it down. Now, is there a mulach of grinding by eggs to start with? Is the prohibition of grinding going to apply to eggs to start with? Step one. 
No. The, no. Why? Egg doesn't grow from the ground, right? So there's no prohibition of grinding my eggs. So what's the problem? The egg, so why why am I asking you? Can I use an egg slicer to grind eggs? I'm allowed to take eggs and I'm allowed to mash it. Can I take a fork and take my hard boiled egg and just mash it? Yes. Yes. So why am I asking you about an egg slicer? Very good. You're following. We said you can't use a specialized utensil. So now the question is an egg slicer, is an egg slicer a specialized utensil? Yes. And it's, it seems like it, yeah. Wouldn't it be like the cheese grater? Okay, it, it, it's tricky, very good. It, it, it's very tricky. I used to think also that it was a specialized utensil, but I looked into it and they write that it's not considered a specialized utensil. Why? Why? Because it's like a knife, just like, just like, can I use a knife? Let's listen. Can I use a knife to cut the egg? The knife? Yes. Yeah. The egg slicer is like a, a knife that's made special to cut eggs. And the blades are not, the blades are not like very together. When you slice the eggs, they're pretty thick. It just has the blades, you know, it just slice it nicely. So instead of you going one, two, three, four, take a long time to slice it, you have a special thing, you go like that. So it, it, the, 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 the things are far from each other. It doesn't come out very thin. So it's like a, it's like a higher quality of a knife, but it's not considered a specialized utensil for grinding because it's not grinding it very thin. It's making it to pretty, pretty thick slices. You, you get what I'm saying? So it's not a specialized utensil because it makes it thicker. It just, just more professional. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So for the apples, I do the same thing. There are like something for the apple, like you do like this and cut the apple. That's the same. Okay, so the question is what about an apple core? Could you use an apple core on Shabbos? Um, the answer is. There's another problem over there. Why? It could be a problem. I think about it. No. It theoretically could be a problem of bird of separating, but when you cut it, apple comes with it. It's not just waste, it's good and bad together. That means an apple, everyone get the question about an apple car? Yeah, yeah. what an apple car is? Yeah. Wait, but you can't you can't use that. So, so I'm saying so I'm saying you could use the apple car. Why? Why not? Are you grinding? No. Big pieces. Are you separating? No. You are separating, but you're also getting good and bad together. The piece that, that you're cutting out from the middle has waste, has waste and good at the same time. Together. It's like the egg is like the inside. You can use. Is what? Egg slicer? Yeah. You can use egg slicer, you can use apple curl, yeah. Okay, it's not considered like a special instrument. Okay, so it's tricky because you're saying it's a special instrument. It's not a special instrument. A special instrument is not a problem. Uh, just because it's a special tool. When you are using a ladle to take the soup out of the pot, it's also a special instrument. It's special to take out soup. Right? Is that you know what I'm saying? Just because it's made special, it's, it's not a problem. It's only a problem if it's special for set if it's special for grinding. If it's instrument that's special, like, like a grater, the cheese grater. You can't use a cheese grater. I don't know if I finished discussing that. I brought it up before. I don't know if I concluded with the cheese grater. Did I? I think I didn't. A cheese grater for grinding cheese. Yeah. yeah. We mentioned it. Could you use a could you use that in Chavez? Hmm? No. I want to grate the cheese. Could I? No. Why? It's a special instrument. The grater is special for grinding cheese. But this, this apple core is not special for grinding. The egg slicer is not special for grinding. It's not for grinding. It's for cutting the eggs into slices. And to make it even slices to save you time 
That's it. It's not grinding. It's like a knife that works a little faster and better and smoother. Got it? Any other questions? Okay. Mr. Smith, Chavez. Thank you.